What's going on? Wait, wait, what is that? What's going on, guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more Super Smash Brothers for some, for 3DS and Wii U news. Now, this Kotaku article actually struck my interest, like a lot of them do. <laughs> but this one, and by the way, I'm wearing this tight ass shirt, man. I'm feeling crazy right now. I feel like my nipples are about to bust right through. But I mean, I don't have much in the wardrobe right now, so you know, you're gonna have to look at my knob. Nah, but um, yeah, so Kotaku made this uh, article which talks about the recovery moves of characters and I thought it would be interesting seeing exactly how every character stacks up against each other when it comes to the recovery they use. Most of you can probably figure out who's going to win, obviously, but still, it's interesting to see it play out in front of us. So, while weighing the merits of fighters in the new Super Smash Bros., a crucial factor to consider is their recovery abilities. These are special moves that each character, blah blah blah, we know. Using Smash's new net level editor, a player who posts YouTube videos under the incredibly appropriate handle Smash Highlights create a stage with a series of small moving platforms stacked on top of one another that each used the character's vertical recovery moves to see how high each of them could reach. So basically, a recovery test. It's probably not the most scientifically precise method possible, but, by, but the trial by a level editor is cool to see because it speaks to each character's physical presence in the Smash world in a handy way. Also, the video is a lot of fun to watch. So, um, let's see what the video has to offer. Most of you can probably see the video. Oh, whoa. Kind of loud there. Alright, so, um, let's see how this works because we all know who's going to win. But it's, it'll be interesting to see who stacks up, you know, in second place, third place, and whatnot. So let's take a look. So obviously, low max recovery is going to be horrible. And Ganondorf and Dr. Mario have the same level of recovery. So as we get higher, more characters fit that standard. Holy shit! Damn. Of course Lucario is going to be insane. Did they give him max damage for his? Because Lucario's, man, I mean, you guys already know this, but Lucario's recovery is fucking broken in this game, man. The more damage you get, this dude just flies, man. It's crazy. That's it, huh? That's it? Wow, Shulk has actually really got good recovery. The air slash goes really high. So this is Falco, Pikachu, Shulk, Pac-Man, and Sonic. Nice. Of course, Greninja's really good. And Pit and Dark Pit at the same level. And all of them, yeah, Rob's of course is really good. And then here, of course, we got the winner! <laughs> of course! The Villager, man. From when the demo was released in Smash, I knew for a fact he had the best recovery in the game. Best horizontal, best vertical. I love this music they're playing with it too. This is hilarious. 27. Damn. No surprise there. And you know, it's such a massive difference between the other characters too that the Villager's recovery has because Villager was 27 and the closest one to him, the closest one to him was Robin Alomar, which had 22. I think, I think that five um, I think that 5 difference is extremely significant when it comes to Smash and whatnot. I don't know how competitively viable the Villager is, but the recovery makes it so he's definitely rewarding if you get good with him. I've yet to see a Villager player that really knows how to pull out his potential, but of course eventually I'm going to run into one. And I'm going to be going to tournaments as well too, like Nebulous and whatnot, so eventually I'll meet a Villager out there who knows how to put in work. But the offstage game with this guy can be RIDICULOUS! Anyways guys, what do you think of this? Did the recovery thing turn out the way you wanted it to, or the way you thought it was, rather? I don't know where Robin was. I can't... I missed him totally. Where's Robin? He's probably down there. No Rob. I don't see any Robin. Oh, yeah, 12. Okay, so Robin can hit 12. Yeah, he can hit 12. Alright, so he's definitely not recoverable. Well, he's definitely not that good, but I mean, hey, 
It's good enough for me. 12 is not a bad number. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.